Hi Jose, this is Dave from ABC Baseball Camps. I'm here to do your hitting evaluation. Okay, not the greatest video in the world, but we'll do our best here. Okay, so from a setup standpoint, uh, Jose, looks pretty good. Your feet are parallel. I like that. Shoulder width apart. Barrel's up nice and good. I like how high your barrel is. That standpoint, that's a really good look there. So good setup. I wouldn't change that a bit. Okay, so from a point of contact um, standpoint, uh, Jose, uh, I like really like what you do with your backside. Really driving that back leg, that's good. Just remember we're driving that back leg down to the inside of a closed, firm front foot. And it looks like on this video that your front foot's kind of slid open a little bit. Okay, we don't want that. We don't want to slide that foot open. Okay, and you can see the angle your body is in right now. Everything is leaning back. Which tells me that you're not transferring weight. Okay, we got to make sure we're transferring our weight to our front side to get the most out of our swing. Okay, so you take, you have a little heel hitch which is okay. Just make sure that front foot isn't this way. That it's this way. Again, we're going to hit to a we're going to drive that knee down to a closed firm front foot. Okay, don't let it don't let it open up on you. When that front foot opens up, Jose, it opens up your front hip, which opens up your front shoulder, which causes a whole bunch of stuff we don't want to happen. Okay, so at a point of contact, yeah, you're in pretty good shape there, young man. Very good. Your chest is facing right where we want it to at the point of contact, which is not to the pitcher, but out kind of towards the second baseman where the second baseman would play. And that's what we want. That gives this, this swing right here, buddy, gives you the ability to handle pitches on the outside corner, on the outer half of the plate not just middle and middle in by staying square like that so if you can maintain that and keep doing that you're gonna be on your way that's that's a pretty good looking swing best one I've seen all day today from an eval standpoint and what you do after your contact you know it doesn't really matter but I like what you do from a standpoint of get pretty good extension Rick, your hands come up high. That's good. You got the knob pointing towards the pitcher now. So that's really good. I like that. Okay. Let's uh, let's take that back a little bit. I want to watch a couple more things here. Let's talk about your uh, your bat path. Yeah, you see when you when your front foot lands, Jose, your front foot's opening up and it's gonna open that front hip up. Okay? Work on you know, stick a two by four down, a brick, where you're gonna land your foot in, inside of it so it doesn't it doesn't give it the opportunity to open up. We do not want that front that front foot opening up. Keep it closed. Uh, from a bat path standpoint. Man, oh man, that's pretty darn good. Love your head slot, really good. Let's check your, uh, let's see how much you're using your legs. We're going to put a, a circle over your helmet. We're going to tighten it up a little bit. Okay, and we're going to, when you start your swing, your head should start dropping, you know, into that circle a little farther. It should not come up and it should not stay the same.
pretty good. At contact after contact, it's going to come up a little bit, and yours does, which is okay. I mean, you could go down a little bit more. All I'm saying is, um, Jose is to is to um, is to make sure you're you know you're really emphasizing and putting a ton of energy and driving that knee down. Okay, if you're five foot ten at the start of your swing, you should be five eight at the finish of your swing. Or when you're just past contact. A lot of guys get a little taller when they finish. But make sure you're getting, you know, you're really getting those legs because your swing is your swing is pretty darn good. And I, I, if you can get your lower half involved in it at a high level, you're going to be a chance to hit pretty good. Yeah, it's, you do a great job keeping that barrel in that contact zone on a level plane for a long time what's going to give you the ability to hit a lot of line drives and that's what it's all about my son plays at the University of Tennessee and when they take their batting practice they're not allowed to hit a ball over the height of the L screen the emphasis at the next level is really on hitting line drives and letting you know doubles and triples and home runs kind of take care of themselves but keep that in mind as you go forward is it's all about hitting line drives gap to gap power so yeah I wouldn't change anything uh, from a standpoint of your setup is pretty good I uh, work on that front foot uh, stay inside that front foot and then really work on compressing your swing compressing your body down as you make it as you go through the contact area Jose it looks like you're gonna be a good hitter bud good job Hope this helped a little bit, and we'll see you at the next ABC Baseball Camp.